Hi, my name is Markus from crosstech.de and today I'd like to introduce you the mobile forms feature of Breezing Forms. Um, for this I already created um, a small contact form and we're going into the form settings advanced tab. Uh, you see two options, mobile forms and force mobile forms. With uh, mobile forms you enable the uh, mobile forms feature in general and with force mobile forms uh, you force the page to load just the form right on uh, page entry which means that the user can focus on data entry and doesn't have to deal with um, uh, with uh, the whole uh, website template scrolling through the site and finding the form and everything how this looks like actually um, this is uh, Safari in iOS uh, iPhone 5 um, mode and when I open that contact form here you see a specialized uh, version of the same form which would look like this on the desktop so you see already that um, both versions um, are differently but you were using a one form setup for both versions um, of course both forms uh, work exactly the same way so if I enter some text here and I'm gonna submit it it's doing exactly the same way like the desktop version of course you don't have to force the, um, uh, the form to be uh, opened in a uh, mobile mode uh, you can also disable the force mobile forms feature and if you then enter the, uh, the form, you will at first see the, um, the regular form. Um, the quick mode uh, form is already um, uh, responsive, but um, when you disable the force mobile forms feature, the user will be able to choose if you would like to see the mobile uh, forms version, so he, can, uh, he has a better chance to uh, deal with the data entry. Um, I put all the, uh, the elements uh, into, a, um, into a field set here and as you can see it takes over the field set as well um, which is here um, on the mobile forms version you can uh, close and open uh, the field sets by default so it gives another opportunity for the user to get through a uh, better get through to um, uh, large forms and um, yeah, if you for example would add a, a new element, let's say capture, it would of course work in exactly the same way. So again, uh, we are opening the desktop form. And loading the um, the same form for the mobile version will do the same. Of course, multi-paging is possible as well. So if I would uh, if I would add a new um, another section, a new page, um, let's add uh, another more element like this. and save the form I would have uh, uh, another page um, here and here and could submit it in exactly the same way now the capture is of course wrong exactly the same way like the desktop version And you see that multi-paging is possible as well. And um, the fun part about this feature is that you're just creating your form once in quick mode. And um, both versions are available. So if you're creating complex forms and form applications, uh, you will also be able to um, offer the user uh, the same experience, the same form, but in a different way, optimized for mobile uh, devices. 
And yeah, that's it for now. And I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration. And hope to see you soon in our next uh, tutorial. Thank you. Bye.